This morning, we are catching up with the incredibly talented Ryan Tedder, front man for Run Republic, whose mega hits include Counting Stars, and I was going to try to sing the most. Please don't do that. <laughs> and apologize. He's sitting right here. Oh, that's true. Okay. If you are here, <laughs> I'll sing it for everybody. No. The Grammy-nominated band with 5 billion streams on Spotify <laughs> kicks off a North American tour in July, and fans will no doubt hear their new song. It's called I Ain't Worried, off the soundtrack for mega hit Top Gun Maverick, mm -hmm. this blockbuster that's taken in almost a billion dollars worldwide and counting. Good morning. You know what That's why you're smiling. Like, you feel it, right? <laughs> I mean, come on. So this song, I mean, it's, it's you, you got your start kind of writing mu yeah. music for movies. Yes. Now, here's this, the, the biggest hit in Lord knows how long. Yeah. And and your song is like the soundtrack of this movie. I mean, yeah. especially since Miles Teller's abs had a lot to do with it. <laughs> I, uh, I'm writing, actually, t t later today, I'm writing a personal thank you note to Miles Teller's Abs. abs. <laughs> to him, thank, thank you for being fit. Because it plays during that beach it scene. It during the, the beach scene. It basically, it's like, I was joking, it's like Tom gave us a $70 million music video. <laughs> yeah. like, we were in the whole beach scene. It's iconic. Trying to re do our best to, to replace, you know, the original song, Playing yeah. With The Boys. But that scene with Miles laughing and everybody's abs went viral on TikTok. <laughs> I'm in Europe and all out of nowhere, they're like, hey, your song's exploding. You should go on Spotify. And out of nowhere, it's just like, it That's went. Awesome. Yeah. Well, it helps that it's a really catchy song. Yeah, I mean, that helps. It's, exactly. it's a yeah, really yeah. good song. And I'm that thinking, helps. you know, the first Top Gun, you have Kenny Loggins in Danger Zone, yeah. also a very catchy song. Yes. But now you're part of history. I'm still kind of pinching myself because, mm. like, it, I've seen the movie three times. I saw the trailer, you know, the screener for it a year before. Tom insisted I see it in IMAX. It blew my mind. Mm. I told him, so what do you honestly think? Give me all the, give me all the critique as I'm in the movie. And I text him. I go, dude, um, I, I'm not lying. This is the best sequel I've ever seen in my life. It's not really a sequel. It's yeah. the right. best. Yeah, one well, of that's the best what Al said. I, I didn't see the original. You did say that. And oh, wow. Me, I never saw the original. It stands out on its on own. Its own. Mm -hmm. It's a terrific movie on its own. We got to get you the original, Al. I well, mean, you guys, you guys <laughs> see I really need. Nice. Yeah. No, it's it's. I'm still pinching myself because I've done awesome. tons of songs for movies. This was just next level, right. and I'm so grateful. I feel like it goes without saying. We were talking about it this morning. You could have a movie, and then you have a soundtrack. Yep. And when mm -hmm. the two can unite, and they're they both meet yes. the moment. It's like lightning it's like in a bottle. It's like the cocktail soundtrack, right? It is like the cocktail soundtrack. <laughs> I think so many movies in the 80s and 90s pulled it off. Um, Don't Want to Miss a Thing mm -hmm. from you know, Armageddon. It hasn't happened so much recently up until, I think, uh, Star is Born with Gaga. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's been a lot more of these songs happening. And it, it just, you know, every now and then the stars align. He kept pushing to wait until people could see it in theaters. And I credit yeah. him for doing it. He mm -hmm. did. People were ready. Yeah, you went, yeah. people people were ready. And, and honestly, I watched the movie on like a Wednesday, watched yeah. the scene. Wrote it the next morning, <laughs> sent it to him. So that's how it works. You see the scene. Yeah, I'll... I watched the scene. And I what did he? Scene. What did he? Yeah, say he to gets you? to decide. He gets to decide. Ultimately, him and Jerry Bruckheimer. I'm on. His, imagine this. I'm on a Zoom with with Tom and Jerry Bruckheimer, and like. <laughs> but it's great to say Tom and Jerry. Yeah. 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 Tom, Tom and Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> Tom and Jerry. And um, and he tells me, and I go, okay, I'm watching the scene. There's a little Beach Boys, but there's some gorillas, kind of cool bass lines. And he goes, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I want. Next day, the, I, my bass player sends me a bed of music, and the first thing out of my mouth was the whistle. And then I just, you know, uh, I ain't worried about it right now. Like, it was the first thing out of my, it was the first wow. attempt. And so we, sometimes, sometimes things just work out. That's, that just, like, came to you? First, I'm watching the scene, and I'm going, or it's the only three minutes in the movie where they let off the gas and there's levity, where they're mm -hmm. actually going to yeah. hang out as a group. And I'm watching it, I'm going, man, about to go into war, all this stuff, bad stuff happening. Right now, I am worried. So, like, good or oh, bad, wow. sideways, so otherwise, cool. I'm, I'm chill, and it's a summer song. Before we go, we want to, can we do a little lightning round? Let's oh, do it. yes, okay, yes. So, we're, we're okay, gonna... okay, quick. Uh, name an artist on speed dial on your phone. Uh, Paul McCartney. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> Bang, okay. Well, it, was, it, was his right. it was his birthday two days ago, so I was like texting. You don't have to explain. <laughs> yeah. uh, John Baptiste, Keith Urban, Jack Harlow. Which Today Show summer concert would you get up early to attend? Oh, my God. I, all right, so I've seen John Baptiste work with him. He's great. Uh, Keith, I've seen. I'm friends with him. I have not seen Jack Harlow, so Jack Harlow. Okay. okay. Um, which artist is in constant rotation on your playlist? Ooh. Oh, that's such a good question. Um, uh, in, in constant rotation would be... Uh, the Beach Boys, Vampire Weekend, and Muddy Waters. Ooh, okay, we have to get this one in. Mix, right? <laughs> a report suggests that you're slated to contribute on the forthcoming album from someone whose name rhymes with Yance. Oh, God. <laughs> true <laughs> or false? True or false? I mean, I, I can't say if the report is true. Like, like I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble. All right, yes. I don't want you to get in trouble. I don't want you to get in trouble with the Queen. And we have to so. sing this because in three days, yeah. happy birthday, birthday to you.
Thank you. Happy birthday to you. The long song. Happy birthday, dear Ryan. I want to harmonize. Happy birthday to you. Oh, that's yeah, Ryan Tedder, thank you so much. What kind much. of birthday cake do you like? Um, my favorite is honestly ice cream cake. I'm back right. like old school Baskin I, or, Baskin or Robbins, yeah, Harvey, with, the, the with the crunchies yes. in the middle. <laughs> I, I eat the icing on the side. One Republic, yes, the on icing. Tour and One Republic, we tour all summer long. You want to see the Top Gun song and Counting Stars and Apologize, all the stuff. Come see us. Uh, starting in July. Yay. We'll be all over the country. There I can yeah. sing with everyone yes. else and no one will hear me. You'll just blend right in. We love having you here. Thank well, you so much. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Anytime. Ryan. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.